Welcome to another fantastic Friday. My name is Sean Humphrey and we've switched it up a bit today. We've got a special feature in place of Wildcat Cooking. We'll send it to Macy Goldfarb out there with what's going on, but first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's going on, Wildcats? Macy Goldfarb here. Tonight we have Senior Night for Boys Basketball, Dance, and Cheer. Hope to see you there. That's all from me. Back to you, Sean. Well, now we'll send it to Sideline Sports. Hey, Wildcats. Jacob Kenton here with another edition of Sideline Sports. I'm out here with our girls' basketball team for our last home game of the season against Cocoa Beach. It was also our final game in the Cape Coast Conference, and we came out with a win, placing us in fifth. So hopefully we can take that victory and have some good momentum going into the postseason. All right, I have senior Naya Urfi here with me. So, you know, it's uh, your last home game at West Shore, and um, can you just tell us some of the emotions going through you right now? Um, it kind of feels surreal right now. It just feels like any other home game, but the fact that it's the last home game, it's kind of sad, but I'll probably feel it later. But I'm glad we had a good season. All right, here with me is Zora Mujib. So now you guys are starting to go into uh, districts and regionals. Can you just tell me your strategy going into these games? Well, we've been putting in a lot of work, so our first district game is going to be against Holy Trinity. So with all that work we've been putting in, that's definitely going to be a beautiful game. All right, good luck out there. Thanks for watching, Wildcats. Tune in next week for more Sideline Sports. Great work as always, Jacob. There are plenty of new video games making their rounds nowadays, but it is one that's been out for a decade that is inspiring creativity in West Shore students. Here's Sam Hathkin with the story. Castillo has been thinking of a special project for a while and has finally executed it. It's not something revolutionary or world-changing, but more user-friendly. A public Minecraft server. Uh, me and my friends wanted to play this for about a month, uh, but it's been up for about a week, and you can see we have a lot of progress. Uh, I made the server because I wanted to unite the entire West Shore community. For such a big project, Ben needed help managing it. Enter Alex Foraglu, his right-hand man in building the server. I'm the server's head builder, and I see Minecraft as a medium to create anything you can imagine, even if it would otherwise be impossible given the limitations of the real world. I'd like to work on more functional builds that could get us more resources for future projects and expeditions. <laughs> Aside from himself and Alex, Ben is developing his posse. A few passionate players. Um, so... Minecraft's pretty tight. Minecraft! 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 Ben and his crew are steadily building their legacy and invite you to help them. If you own Minecraft, Ben asks you to contact him for details on joining. The server IP address is wsh.skynode.host. This has been Sam Hafkin reporting for WCTZ News. So come on down, we'll have lots of fun. That just about does it for another week here at WCTZ News. My name is Sean Humphrey and from Macy Goldfarb, we'll see you next time.